soccer that's going to um, you know, pick up the downhill run game in Stanford. Um, so it's just kind of there's, there's more, yeah, are, I mean, there's more of a width um, as far as what you're trying to defend. And every single game, in the position, there's different coaching styles. So a lot of the SEC is my players are better than your players. So we're going to be back to is like, okay, well, we run this weird offense. You're going to go play as my lead. Who's going to throw the ball however 100 times? And then you're going to go play Stanford. Who's going to snap the ball instead of five seconds every single time? And it's just a wide variety. So I think it's kind of unique and it makes for a hard season. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, I'm kind of sick of hearing about anything that's not focused on this year. So what's the team be concerned about when they see the Huskies on their on their schedule? What type of you mentioned other teams and other type of styles of play that they play in the division? What about you guys and the Huskies? Uh, I think we do a, a pretty good job of staying balanced. We're definitely going to go with what we're doing better. So like last year, we ran the ball more, so we're better at that. Uh, you always got to be ready for some type of trickery, something, and then you know we, we play pretty high-level defense. And I think that's kind of always been our stamp and our offense is, is more game playing. And it'll be a little different because we, we have a different offense coordinator this year. But, you know, I, I think it's you're ready for a physical game. And, and you know, especially if you're coming to Seattle, you know, the, evening, the rain's more there. Than, I mean, I think it rains more in Oregon, but it's, it's pretty unique. It's going to be loud and it's going to be physical. And it's going to be basically a brawl. Who inspired you to start playing football or start being a quarter, uh, playing quarterback? Uh, I mean, I watched football growing up with my dad. My dad played football at Oregon State. Um, he wasn't necessarily saying, oh, you need to go play football, but when I decided I liked football, I was definitely like, okay, let's go sign you up. And so I've been playing since I was eight. I uh, was lucky enough to play uh, Folsom Junior Bulldogs. It was a great program. Uh, Kirk Crandall uh, was, was my first my first coach. I won a lot of games and ended up winning a championship my first two years. And so whenever that happens, you know, you're younger and you kind of feel a success, it becomes more and more enjoyable just because you kind of feel like it's something you're good at. Kind of took off from there. Folsom's a you know, pretty big football town themselves. You've always played quarterback? I played quarterback every single year except my first year. Yeah. What would you play your first year? Running back, linebacker, and D-line. When I was eight. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was okay. To me, it's I, uh, Good enough, good enough, I guess. <laughs> Can you believe your team is blown by your Yeah, it's gone fast, kind of depends on how you look at it. I think, uh, you know, and I think all the way back to some of the things that I went through my freshman year. That feels like a really long time ago. So I think you kind of look at it as old as it has been four years, it's gone kind of fast. Uh, but I, I mean, I've played a lot of football. I think some people say it goes by fast because maybe they've been here for five years, but they really only played like two. So, you know, you, you don't have as much, you have memories, but it goes by quicker than you know, maybe when you're not playing. I guess that's not totally true, but I think more for me, it's, it just depends on how you look at it. And I think something's kind of unique for me is I've been playing a lot of football, but so is a lot of people in, in some very important positions for us. Like JoJo, Miles, Trey, Caleb, you know, we've got a lot of people that have been playing a lot of football. Do you still enjoy it? Yes. Yes. All the <laughs> yeah, I know I look miserable at media day, but I, I do enjoy this. <laughs> Not this part. I like the football part. Well, uh, you don't want to look back, but uh, will what happened to the Pac-12 maybe help you guys going into, you know, the I don't know, and I can't even the schedule. So, and there was power, but I don't know being overlooked. Yeah, I think all yeah. I mean, I think it's the first game, so everybody's pretty juiced up and ready for the first game. It doesn't really matter who you're playing just because, you know, you haven't been able to really like, let loose and get somebody you know, really go play an actual game of football since whatever, January and December. So I think everybody's pretty excited. And really excited. Maybe if I fall into a trap game, it'll be more like, oh, okay, it's week five, and remember playing teams that hasn't been playing that many games, but you never really know what you got until you know, season starts and plays the game. So, you know, I don't know, I don't know about that necessarily. Is it a chance to kind of make a Pac-12 statement? Yeah, I think that's more for, for you guys to decide a little bit and what is the storyline going to be if, if we beat them. For us, I mean, I think it's going to be hopefully a win and then move on to the next game. Jake, Jake. Right. Mm -hmm. Six weeks in the process. Now, so Peter's talking about it. Obviously, he's out for at least a couple months, but obviously, a big target. You were I think I'm going to open it yes. on this 
Yeah, I mean, we'll see what goes on. Yeah. I'm not really going to talk about injuries at all. That's more Coach Pete's. He just confirmed it. That's fine. I just, yeah. Obviously, I got it. But yeah, you know, yeah, you'd yeah, you have to ask him. Obviously, we really want to get Hunter back, good part of our offense, and then we kind of playmaker. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not really going to talk about any of that stuff. Jake, Dix or Ivers? Say it again? Dix or Ivers? Uh, well, now that it's become a big deal that I said that In and Out was better, I guess I guess I have to go with Ivers. I like Dix fries. I just think the burger's been sitting there forever. How's it supposed to be good? Ding, 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 yeah, ding. Exactly. Dick fries, the best in the world. <laughs> yep.